Winston Churchill takes one of several trips to France during Hitler's blitzkrieg of that country. Only two months prior, he had convinced the French not to sign an armistice with Germany that was separate from Britain's allied agreement with France. But now, the French were begging Churchill to release them from their obligation. France presses for peace with Germany, and though the French army is shattered, the French navy is astonishingly intact, which leaves Churchill with a problem. His concern is not over the French using their fleet to assist Germany, but that instead Germany will train their own sailors to command the French ships. Before France can officially surrender to Germany, Churchill tries to convince his war cabinet to attack the French fleet, but they refuse, concerned that the attack would result in a loss of British troops and ships, and that even though France had overtly capitulated to Germany, they were still an ally of Britain. France and Germany sign an armistice. On July 1st, Churchill finally gets the backing of his war cabinet to sink the French ships if they refuse to be surrendered. The most powerful grouping of these ships is at Mirs el Kaber in Algeria. Churchill dispatches a powerful squadron of battleships to confront what remains of the French naval force at the port of Oran. There they surround the French fleet. This is an impressive show of British power with two battleships, the carrier Ark Royal and leading the squadron, the British fleet's flagship battle cruiser, the HMS Hood, which is considered the most powerful warship in the world, the embodiment of sea power and an imperial status symbol. Aboard the Hood is Vice Admiral James Somerville, head of this British strike force. Somerville sends his emissary to reason with the French Admiral Marcel Bruno Jensot. He tells the French that they have three options, either sell to Britain, sail to the United States, or scuttle their ships. Should the French be unwilling, then Somerville must destroy the French ships. For two days, Somerville and Jensoul converse, but the French admiral is immovable. If he agrees to any one of the British alternatives, he will betray his word to the Germans, and France will be punished. Then, the British uncover a message from the Vichy government, ordering French reinforcements to move urgently to Iran. Churchill now is finished messing around, and he orders the attack to his commander, saying, Settle everything before dark, or you will have reinforcements to deal with. The Hood aims her guns on the port of Mer el Kabir, where four French battleships and a collection of auxiliary vessels lie defiantly moored. In ten minutes, three French battleships and a destroyer are out of commission. Ten minutes later, nearly 1,300 French soldiers are dead and three capital ships, along with one destroyer, are damaged or are destroyed. The French were furious, but the reaction in Britain was much different. The day after the battle, Churchill went to the House of Commons to explain why he ordered the attack on the French fleet. And for the first time, since taking over as Prime Minister, he received a unanimous standing ovation. Churchill's audacious decision proved to allies and enemies Britain's resolve and that they were not afraid to stand alone and fight and that they would and could do whatever was necessary to save their little island as one of the last bastions of civilization 
in a world that was being rocked by war.